Hi guys, this is um, Kalashnikov. Welcome to another installment of uh, painting, painting while chatting. Um, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell button, you know, all the buttons. Maybe not the dislike button. I mean, if you dislike it, just go ahead and hit it, I suppose. So today we're going to do kind of like a little uh, thing that's a little different. Um, you know, I, like, I talk a lot about, like, art and history and, and philosophy and all these kinds of, like, fun things. But today I wanted to, you know, um, take a step back and kind of, like, reflect on some thoughts that I've been having lately um, regarding to, you know, art practice and making a living out of art. And, you know, more than making a living out of art, taking kind of, like, the economic or... Um, a bit of the capitalistic uh, edge out of it. Um, just, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about acknowledging the fact that making art is, making good art, in my opinion, is essentially about repetition and um, the ability to manage boredom and the ability to manage doing a repetitive task that's no longer exciting. Um, so this is especially true when it comes to drawing comics, animation, um, all these kinds of like frame by frame or several frames of the same thing. But it's also very true if you're painting and you're rendering a part of a painting or part of a portrait or part of an image in general. And I think we, can, you know, I think a lot of people when they, when they start approaching art and, and you know, making art and um, it's so hard to succeed as a as a good artist or like to make your art succeed um not in like capitalistic terms or like not in terms of making a living out of the art that you make which is also hard but for completely different reasons um but it's also very hard to feel that your art is where you want it to be or at least it is very hard for me and i think that succeeding in doing this, succeeding in taking your art to the next level is essentially, you know, it's like being an athlete. It's like any other kind of thing that you want to do and you want to be good at. You just have to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. But because there's this whole discourse about art being all about talent, all about this kind of like, this is kind of like mystical endeavor that... Only a few people are really good at because I don't know they have like a, they've been touched by God or something, and I think that in reality, what art and being good at art and and making good art is about is repetition and getting real comfortable with managing your boredom while working on a piece. So the ability to work on your art for hours every day. It's not the ability to constantly generate new ideas. It's not the ability to do new stuff all the time, exciting stuff all the time. In my experience and opinion, it's essentially about the ability for you to sit with your mistakes, for you to grind through the boredom of going over and over and over and over the same things and doing the same things over and over and over again. So if you're rendering a painting, do you know why it's so hard to render a painting? Because it's fucking boring. Like, sure, there are points of excitement. There are points where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get, you know, this reflection here. It's going to be rad or like I'm doing this specular thing here, blah, blah, blah. And it's cool, you know. But it's not all like that. Most of the time when I'm rendering, like, I don't know, the skin on, on a cheek, for example, when you take out, like, the interesting bits, like the, oh, how am I going to manage the contrast here? And to be quite honest, at the point of rendering, you, you're already taking the guesswork out of it. Like, you, you've you already done the creative bit, which is deciding more or less which colors are you going to use, and, and how are you going to approach the subject, and how you're going to solve this incognito. Um, so at the point of rendering, you're essentially kind of like finishing your work in like a very boring way and it's hard to manage that it's hard to be able to sit down with yourself with your art for hours at a time and just grind through it and you know quarantine has been hard on all of us obviously the pandemic has been hard on all of us and some more than others unfortunately but 
it's also given me the space and the ability to stop running away from this and stop running away from I, I tend to have a bit of like a squirrel brain so I will do 75 things at the same time and you know that's it just doesn't work very well when it comes to art making or like creating illustrations you have to be able to sit down and manage your boredom you have to be able to sit down and finish that line art that it's so boring because you've already done all the design like you you're past the design stage and now all you have to do is ink it clean it finish it and so many of us have so much finished art because we're fucking unable to manage our boredom and i think that's to success if you wish in in any area but in art in particular is the ability to manage your boredom the ability to grind through it and the ability to sit down and do the thing that you have to do and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again and i think it was chris Ware who said something like that good artists are essentially very very good at managing boring repetitive tasks and this is true like do you have any idea how many times you have to like study anatomy and like draw hands or draw little things or um it's not all about experimenting and developing your style most of the things that will make you be really good are essentially very boring they they are not exciting they are not they might produce an like an exciting result but they are not exciting to do and I, I like to equate this with video editing because you know when you see like a beautifully edited video you know, it's it has this rhythm, it has this flow, and and you feel excited, and then there's cuts, and then there's transitions, and it's so exciting. But the truth is, if you sit down and edit video, to edit that same video, you've spent hours repetitively doing tasks, repetitively looking at the footage, footage, choosing which bits you're going to put in, which bits are you going to not put in, and dragging the effects and creating the effects and thinking blah 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 you sit down for hours doing boring things and then you create a very exciting final result so i guess that's kind of like my advice if you might or like my little conclusion for today's video is that you have to embrace the slow grind you have to embrace boring repetitive tasks if you want to succeed and if you want your art to be better you have to be able to sit with the fact that you're going to get bored and you're going to have to manage that boredom and you're going to need to be able to grind through it and do the thing. So, you know, there you go. Just my advice for you from the bottom of my heart. Sit down, grind through your boredom, do the fucking thing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked this one. Let me know if you want more kind of like personal stuff like this. I'm always happy to share my, my thoughts and stuff. Um... Make sure that you hit like, subscribe, follow me on like all the social media to see all the weird stuff that I've been up to. And I hope you're having a lovely week. Stay safe and stay interesting. Stay interesting.